Twitter on social media looking for information about an incident that happened in October at a country club in Virginia involving uh, Tucker Carlson's daughter, who some maniac accosted in a country club, calling her a whore and a word I can't repeat on the radio. And her family found out about it, and her brother confronted this guy in the bar area of this club and threw a drink at him. Frankly, the guy got off easy, in my opinion. But Avenatti wants to find out what's going on with this, claiming that the activist, who happens to be gay and Latino, according to him, is the person that's been wronged, and therefore they need to find out what Tucker Carlson knows, when he know, knew it, and to bring this man to justice. Are you freaking kidding me, Russ? Gene, did Avenatti produce statements that were signed under penalty of felony and perjury accusing Kavanaugh of the most horrific and outrageous claims of sexual assault. What happened to those women that have now recanted their stories? Why are they and him not in some kind of trouble? Why is he not disbarred? Well, he's been referred to the Department of Justice for investigation, and we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, Chuck Grassley actually referred him for investigation for uh, sub- basically uh, supporting perjury. By the way, and when we talk about cast of characters, Gene, isn't this maniac think flirting with running for president? Oh, absolutely. On the but Democratic line. <laughs> this is also the same guy that uh, there's judgments against him for $5 million for unpaid wages. This is a guy that has judgments against him for eviction of property for not paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in rent. This is the guy that was ordered to pay President Trump's legal bills. Yes, didn't he assist Stormy Daniels in breaching a confidentiality agreement with the president? Uh, that's what the president's position is, and it seems like the court said that uh, the claims of a uh, defamation... Or a non-disclosure defamation, agreement. Well, that that's still to be litigated, but the defamation claim, the, the defamation claims were thrown out, and he had to pay the president's legal fees. Unbelievable! This guy's yeah. a real clown. Um, Absolutely. But I, I, don't just don't drop this one piece, Gene, because I I know we're going to run out of time. But the mere fact that Antifa is knocking on Tucker Carlson's door, where are we at in this country when when that's a real thing? Oh, we're we're, we're at a President we're, Trump. We're at a very bad place, right? I mean, I mean, President Trump is accused of stifling free speech and stepping all over the First Amendment and going after the press. Here we have Antifa thugs bashing down the door of a Fox News television host. I mean, where is CNN on this one? I admit it. I know know exactly where CNN CNN is on this one. They're still licking their wounds from Jim Acosta getting his press pass revoked uh, from, from the White House. That's where they're at. They don't care about things like this that happen to people that they don't care about it, it, it's it's not news to them it's contrived news to them because the real news is that donald trump is a nazi that he's he's against the first amendment even because at a night at a 90 minute press conference where he took questions from just about everyone in the press because you know that's what press nazis do that he was chided uh by the president for putting forth a question with a with a premise that the president disagreed with and then assaulted a woman trying to do her job and pass the microphone on to the next the next acknowledged reporter. That's where they're at. <laughs> Gene, I love these games because I mean, in all reality, he didn't he didn't assault a woman, right? But I it's don't just think so that he assaulted a woman. But at the same time, here the man's got to be held accountable for his own actions. Uh, listen, of course, he's got to be held accountable. And, and the main the main example I give, which is why, like, I love the drama of all this. If Sean Hannity had did that to an intern during the Obama administration, especially if she was like a black female intern, which would have been even better, Hannity would have been like crucified and he would have had to make a million public apologies. So if they want to play these stupid games, I'm all for them. Now we say he assaulted this intern and, uh, you know, she's devastated. She should sue him. Black female intern. But I'm the racist. I, listen, I'm just trying da, to da, da, the da, 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 da. Now who's tap dancing? Just been, uh, and I said Sean Hannity. Imagine Now who's tap dancing? Now who's tap dancing, Gal? <laughs> Finally got it. All right, listen. We got to shut this sucker down. Thanks for listening to the show, folks. Russ, uh, give me one last final thought and then we got to get out of here. First of all, where's the caravan? I know you're the only one. Where's that caravan? I haven't heard nothing about it. And happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans out there. Yes, indeed. You know, you know what we got to do, Russ? And I got to find a way to put this in. Maybe I'll put it in right now. We got to find the tape of our buddy Yakertak discussing Veterans Day. Oh, please figure out a way to get that on there. You teased it. It's got to go out there. All right. This clip needs some setting up. Once upon a time when we were Brooklyn GOP radio, we had a lot of political enemies. And one of them had a penchant for singing very badly. 
So we took a clip of a song, and we had our resident maniac, Yak, do a whole monologue that went a little off the rails. We can bring things down a little bit, Russ. <sighs> it's been a taxing day. It has been. But it's time for Yak's segment. Let's let our good friend, Yak Bard... And this is my favorite segment. I know many of you two... Go ahead, Let's Yak. turn it over to Yak. Go ahead, Yak. Yak. Thanks, James. Thank Russ. Bing. That this recording is going to be played two days after Veterans Day. So I do not want to miss out my opportunity to salute our armed forces, our veterans, and those who have fought for us throughout the generations to preserve our freedom and our quality of life, liberty, and justice for all. That's beautiful, yeah. And on the subject of what our armed forces do for us and for the globe, I just want to salute them for doing a fantastic job in the Philippines, helping out those unfortunate souls who have lost their homes and family and the many lives that, that have been destroyed over there. I just want to see, I just want to say that I'm so proud to be an American. As are, we're proud that you are an American, Yak. And God bringing it yet. back to America, though, and want to talk about quality of life, nothing is more no, quality of life would describe the quality of our health care. Okay. And as we know, we were supposed to give our president his... I mean, we were supposed to take his word... A word, a lie that he has repeated 35 times at least. That's right. At least. Lie to our Ameri- by lie to the American people, and right? Right, right, right yeah? By the democratic scoundrels that have have many of them have said up until recently, don't change anything. This is an awesome plan. Run with it. Go with it. Take it to the polls. Don't worry, you won't lose your health care. Drudge says a million have in California alone. Wait, 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 wait. Between Glenn and Yak, what the hell are we talking about on here? <laughs> We're talking about a lot of focus, Scout. Keep saying the house. Right, I'm sorry, I'm, I apologize. Okay. As it was saying. As it was saying. Listen, we can Obamacare turned out to be a lie. That's what you were saying. So we've been going from making fun of this of the website and of its failures on late night to now everybody knowing the lie and scandals and scum that this president has turned out to be and that's Yakov Bard and that is Yakov Bard great job brother God bless the USA Yak indeed God bless (laughs) yes indeed yes indeed Gene and Ross Behind Enemy Lines, check us out at www.behindenemylinesradio.us from the People's Republic of New York. We are out of here. Enjoy this clip and we'll see you next week, folks. Our position has been compromised. It's time to roll out. Report for debriefing at www.behindenemylinesradio.us and look for regular communications via Facebook and Twitter at BEL underscore radio. You are the resistance behind enemy lines. A Rock Radio production. Back in seven days. Out.